I'm sorry, you know me, I have to start these videos horribly. <laughs> Why not with one of the greatest theme songs ever made? So, um, it is 11 o'clock where I'm at. Uh, I am actually babysitting my friend's Mark's house. You probably better know him as Hwanji on DeviantArt. Uh, and also the guy who does the Why I Hate the World videos on YouTube. And uh, like I said, I'm babysitting his house while he's with his girlfriend, Cammy, also a very wonderful person. Um, mostly taking care of the two cats. In fact, they're there they are right now. I have no idea what the name of the black one is, so we will refer to him as um, Black Cat. And the guy at the bottom, I don't know if you can see him, is Warshak. Because he has a Warshak... Uh, uh, thing over his face, but then again Watchmen is more popular than the actual term that comes from. Uh, I suck at improv. This is his uh, front room by the way. Um, <laughs> if only I had a room this nice. Although he definitely collects way too many toys. I am not a particular fan of toys. I just think they're kind of a waste of space. Uh, yeah, they're fun collectibles, but then you have the buyer's regret and again they just pretty much just take up room as far as I'm concerned, especially since I'm more of a book and a movie guy, so uh, my collection is much different, which you'll probably see in a future video. <laughs> Forgive me, I just finished dinner too, so never try to do a vlog <laughs> after eating dinner either. But yeah, um, some of these toys are really cool, especially this one with all these Ultraman monsters here. Hello, GanQ. How you doing? Hey, it's just like the beginning of the video without the awesome disco music. Um, lots of video games, and yeah, needless to say, I don't, I don't play video games, because again, time suck and not very good experiences. Um, he has even more monster toys up here, so, yeah, e you know, even though I'm doing well money-wise, like, I, I, I can't buy toys. You know, they're fun decorations and everything, but I could use the room to, you know, to display my DVDs, much like, uh, Mark does. Uh... <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, Mark has a funny taste in film. Like, sometimes he'll collect good stuff like the Star Trek movies, and uh, but then uh, other times, and of course Lord of the Rings, but also some of the better monster movies, like some of the Ray Harryhausen stuff. But then again, he'll also collect stuff that uh, I do not agree with whatsoever. He tried interesting me into some of the Sci-Fi Channel original movies he gets for cheap. I'm sorry, I'm done. Um, I'm old. <laughs> I want to enjoy life. I'm not going to watch a sci-fi original movie. So over here, we have... I should I should be fair, though. He's a wonderful guy, so if I'm critical of his movie choices, uh, it's, it's more polite ribbing than it is uh, malicious intent. But seriously, I'm not going to sit down and watch Winter Beast. So I want to, but no, I will not. <laughs> um, and of course, some of these DVDs probably belongs to his girlfriend, Cammy, who's also an awesome girl. She's one of the gals who's definitely even cooler than some of the guys so I'll just say that so um this is uh, his computer workspace which I am currently working on right now in fact I still have the disco music going on let's hear more of that I don't care what anyone says this is even better than Godzilla's theme music okay I'm sorry, I'm gonna let that play. I don't care if I get kicked off of YouTube. That's too, that's too awesome a song. Like, my friends joke that if I had a theme song, it'd be the Godzilla theme song. But no, in reality, it would be this thing playing whenever I enter a convention room. Yeah. Hey, cat. You wanna groove to some Legend of the Dinosaurs? Yeah, yeah? No? Okay, fine. The funk isn't for everybody. Okay, that's enough. I'm having way too much fun with this. Alright. Okay, so, um, also, since I'm actually working on his computer, I can make this vlog longer than, uh, 30 minutes. So, what's this vlog going to be about? Well, let me finish, uh, showing off some of this stuff in his room. 
Um, again, Mark likes to make a lot of physical props and original artwork, and those, there's two examples. One inspired by that band who was always wearing eyeballs, and uh, of course, little Cthulhu in uh, oil paint. Uh, a bunch of comic books, uh, graphic novels here, as well as a little more toys. Uh, <laughs> Again, awesome room, awesome collection, but I can't relate just because I personally don't collect this stuff. And who's this who I just found on the ground? Oh, that's Iris from Gamera 3, The Revenge of Iris. So, and, speak of the devil, something for Earth Baragon. Hey, it's Gudis. So, if, there will be no dancing Gudis in this music video. Uh, more kaiju toys, as well as the NECA figures. Um, I have to be honest, the, as beautifully detailed as these are, is it just me or are NECA fig figures very, very fragile? You know, because it's like he's already had, he already had to buy Crimson Typhoon twice because one of the arms broke. I'll show it to you when I get back on computer. And this guy, this freaking Gypsy Danger here, keeps falling down no matter what, so I had to prompt him up next to the leather back here. Now this, this is how you make a toy strong enough and sturdy enough that you can throw it through a window and it will land on its feet. Uh, and of course he has some rare Kaiju Big Battle figures, uh, vinyls, which are apparently very expensive not only to make but to collect, as well as some famous monsters, uh, which I shall show in close up because I got the beautiful, z I finally know how to work the damn zoom thing on this. And what's this? Oh, that's uh, Gorgonzilla, I believe the name of the monster, an original creation he did for a very short film. This thing used to move, um, it was originally a dinosaur toy that he heavily altered and it used to move on its own, but then uh, the batteries kind of melted after a couple of years. And another beautiful uh, piece of painting he did. Um, and another physical prop. So, um, this is his setup, a bunch of net, uh, the only thing you can really watch here is Netflix and I can't blame him. The current state of cable television is utterly horrible. Um, uh, seriously, if it's not guys hunting ducks, it's a bunch of women yelling at each other, New Jersey. Uh, the kitchen area, which is almost none, which is almost never that uh, spectacular or all that wonderful. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, I don't even know why I'm showing you this, especially when there's not any sweet disco music going on. So, and of course, some convention prints are hanged up all around the place. Uh, Fluttershy and that horrible, horrible, horrible little pet she has. I can't believe I still watch that show. It's good. I, I don't regret it. Um, and just to do something that a lot of uh, people who do room, kind of a quick look outside to show you how uh, the apartment complex looks like. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to keep my voice down soon. So, he lives in the valley. And it's surprisingly cool here at night, as opposed to where I live near the beaches. So, um, and I am not going to go into his uh, bedroom because that would just be utterly rude of me. So, and uh, speaking of rudeness. Uh, it's a good thing nobody really watches this crap. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um... All right. So what's gonna? So what's the main uh, bulk of this uh, vlog? Uh, forg forgive me. I've literally been just been a hermit inside this uh, wonderful house of his, um, working on artwork. Because in less than a week, I'm going to Power Morphicon 2014 in Pasadena. There'll be a link at the bottom if you want to know where that at. Um, this is the first time. Although I've done a lot of uh, I've done a lot of wingmanning or partnerships on uh, artist tables. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing an artist table all by myself. And I am horribly, um, horribly uh, ill-prepared. I got plenty of inks to sell. I got, uh, I got convention posters to sell and some leftover comic books, but nothing really Power Rangers related. I'm, and I'm going to try to work smarter, not harder, and at least get two very good uh, convention prints done before the convention comes along. But I have like less than uh, four days. So the minute I'm done with this video, that's another reason why I'm doing this video, and, ah, crap, I should have shaved before this, and that's okay, I look a lot worse sometimes, especially when I'm dancing to disco music. So, put your comments in below if you want to see more dancing Gank you. Um, I'm going to share some of the stuff that I'm working on, although, again, I think I'm going to have to cancel a lot of this stuff, uh, simply because... I don't have time, so I'm just going to show you the two convention prints I can hopefully get done before uh, Friday. Thankfully, the convention doesn't open until 3 o'clock on Friday. So, 
I can um, I can keep working on things until then. So uh, hold on, let me see. Whatever. Well, first off, let me show you one unfortunate victim who uh, casualty of my uh, short shortened time that I will not be doing. So um, I don't know if you can see. Oh wait a minute, it actually works with the light. Uh, okay, the light shining from behind behind it. I'm horrible at improv, and I really should learn my lines as opposed to wasting time discoing. Um, this is Beevil from Power Rangers Ninja Storm, uh, also known as Hurricane, although I couldn't know her real name to save the life of me. Um, and this was originally a basis for a uh, uh, drawn ink that I was going to sell at the convention and possibly even a kaiju portrait down the line. I may still do the kaiju portrait, but um, she's unfortunately been put on hold for now because even though when I really like this character and, and the sketch is coming out beautifully, uh, I don't have time to do the inks uh, any proper justice. And I don't know how popular the monsters of Ninja Storm is, especially uh, especially since she was one of the more prominent ones. But again, I'm so ill prepared. I got plenty of monsters, but I don't have any ranger art to sell, and I don't have any art of the main villains to sell. And the ones I did, I probably sold at uh, past conventions. So I am a little. I don't want to say I'm nervous, but <laughs> if nothing, uh, if, if I don't get anything ma amazing done uh, by Thursday. Uh, I'm f more or less screwed, probably rightfully so. Um, thankfully, babysitting this house has given me a head start, and to, it is Saturday night. Uh, Cammy and Mark will not return until Monday afternoon, so my plan is the minute I'm done with this vlog, just to entertain you, my dear uh, fans. <clears throat> oh no, it's empty! Oh! I should have filled this up before doing this video, uh, as opposed to discoing. Um, I... where was I? That's the wonderful thing that you guys can appreciate me being a spactic weirdo. I said that wrong. Um, you know, you guys can get used to this kind of insanity. I don't know about you new kids though watching this, but whatever. There is no such thing as normal. It's all varying degrees of acceptable weirdness. You can quote me on that or put on a shirt. So, alright, so here's... Here's the big convention print that I'm going to be working on. Uh, it's, um, I don't know if you can see it, but um, I call it Jumping the Slippery Shark. These are just the basic uh, sketches. I'm working on the inks. And yeah, it's basically the old uh, cliche, uh, Fonzarelli cliche mixed with uh, Green Ranger, Slippery Shark, a monster from the first season of Power Rangers. And uh, I'm going to try and incorporate the Dragon Zord, who's actually pulling Tommy from behind. Um, so yeah, I think this is a clever enough idea, it has two, two of the most popular Power Ranger characters on there, as well as my own personal favorite subject, uh, obscure monsters that nobody knows and love. Although, if you are a fan of Power Rangers, you probably get the gag that, uh, Tommy does not get along with shark monsters whatsoever. Here's the other convention print that I really, really wish I can get done, uh, before, before time runs out. It's Snizzard, a uh, snake-like archer from the first season of Power Rangers, who is perhaps more infamous because he was voiced by our lord and savior of Emmys, <laughs> Brian Cranston. So yeah, it's breaking Snizzard. There's the Snizzard making some uh, blue uh, meth. <laughs> and um, I have never seen Breaking Bad, so I don't know who his sidekick is, but I'm going to incorporate him into the illustration regardless. So, um, now that's kind of a popular internet meme, and it's definitely something that Jay Leno likes to bring up as a, almost kind of a shameful joke against Brian Cranston when he does interviews. Um, but Mr. Cranston, um, I doubt you're going to ever watch this, but, if, but be proud you voiced the Power Ranger monster, because as far as I'm concerned, they're the most fun, insane characters imaginable. Uh, speaking of which, this is going to be a simple convention ink, i.e. something that I'm going to ink out and just sell on its own. Of course, I'm going to do scans and uh, copies before I give it away, but this is Professor Longnose from Power Rangers Season 3, um, he, or Tingu from uh, Kaku Ranger, the Japanese uh, counterpart. But again, this character is so obscure um, that I'm probably going to drop him, much like Beevil, unfortunately. Um, Another convention ink uh, featuring Godzilla, 
uh, hey, say Godzilla, I've yet to draw American Godzilla, although I, I do owe you Warrior King uh, commission. So, um, because from past experiences, I always find a Godzilla fan. Um, and they always buy Godzilla artwork. So I'm going to try to do as many Godzilla pieces as possible because that's almost a sure, a sure bet as far as um, selling goes. So I'm, I'm sorry. Again, I, I just finished having dinner. All right, speaking of Godzilla... This is probably one of the best Rodans I've ever drawn, and um, usually uh, my last couple attempts have kind of failed because of it. So yeah, it's a very good profile, and this is probably good enough to be a kaiju portrait in the future, as well as a. Oh, by the way, I should give you guys some um, some sort of an example of what a uh, a con ink is, which is what I call uh, finished inks that I sell at conventions on their own, uh, usually at an affordable price. Uh, get, but then again, my characters are so obscure, nobody wants to buy them. Um, no, no, I, I, I should be fair. These are actually quite popular when I go to conventions. But here's a completed convention ink to show you what they look like before I wrap them in uh, comic book board plastic. Um, this character right here is Gamora, not the one from Guardians of the Galaxy, but a kaiju from the very obscure and equally abandoned project A Space Godzilla from the late 70s which, uh, from what I understand, was going to combine Godzilla with weird stop-motion and 2001-style uh, uh, oddness. Um, and apparently she it's a, it's a she kaiju, too. I'll go more into detail about her layer later. Uh, I plan on doing a, kaiju, a colored kaiju portrait with this piece um, come October. But she has kind of an interesting history and as well as a somewhat infamous uh, detail that I'm not going to get into. Um, since it's a Power Ranger convention, I'm going to try to do an ink of Ultraman. Um, again, like Godzilla, I kind of have a hard time draw uh, drawing the more popular characters in fiction. Uh, and, uh, so far, this is one of the best Ultraman sketches I've done. Although, as usual, I, I screwed up on the eyes, so I am probably might have to abandon him if push comes to shove. But then again, it's Ultraman, so like Godzilla, there's always an Ultraman fan. Um, just because it's the big popular thing right now that isn't a turtle. Uh, there's a there's Groot from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy um, saying, you know, I thought it would be funny if he says some dialogue saying, I am, well, you know. But um, that kind of humor always goes over the head of most comic book fans or fans in general or people in general. So I think I may just, may just make it Groot or have him just say, I am Groot without any of the wit or cleverness. So, speaking of Godzilla, here's a somewhat completed, another picture of Godzilla. Uh, this one's going to need some major reworking, though, which I'll just use some basic um, uh, liquid paper or whiteout, I guess. Um, as you can see, um, kind of screwed up there on the chest area. Again, um, Godzilla might be the most famous kaiju in the world, and yet I have a weird problem trying to draw the poor guy. Um, Back to the Power Rangers, we got, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's Eye Guy. Um, however, Mark Rivers is trying to get his own Eye Guy piece done before the convention. So, I don't know. This is going to be an original ink. This isn't going to be a con print. And oddly enough, it's the only time I think I've successfully drawn Eye Guy, too. Okay. Um, I, I, I shouldn't have done this, but um, I did this guy on the fly one, one afternoon on a more or less on another lunch break. It's a completely original design. His working name is Genghis Grub. Get it? Um, yeah, it's a basically a giant worm monster of my own creating. But it was, it, it, I don't know, we'll see how original characters do, do on uh, con inks. It's something I want to try. Maybe I'll lower the price for original creations until I become rich and famous and then I can charge people $200 an uh, inch. Okay, so um, this is a nearly completed Scarecrow. I don't know where the design originate from, but I do know it's one of my favorite Scarecrow designs. Um, I think it's the Long Halloween, but I could be mistaken. So this one's nearly completed, so this might be, you know, there might be a Batman fan out there. There's always a Batman fan. Um, okay, I don't know how you guys are going to feel about this, but it's Leatherback from Pacific Rim. And I'm really happy with the way this one came out. It's just as solid as the toy over there. <laughs> um, but here's the thing. Uh, most of these kaiju are not as popular as the Jaegers that fight them or the pilots inside the Jaegers. 
so this is a piece that might be that might be put on hold uh, but then again if I have a fan who desperately wants some Pacific Rim art um, maybe I'll have it on standby so this is an idea that I was gonna do but I think I'm gonna skip out on it uh, it's sort of my take on Woodman from Mega Man 2 uh, my own design making them sort of a techno botanical or techno botanic I don't know uh, half plant half robot kind of something you don't see in fiction very well and that was my design for the character uh, even though when I don't play video games um, I love me the Mega Man franchise especially growing up in fact it was probably one of the few video games I used to play often um, I really don't know if this this is gonna <laughs> I really don't I really doubt I'm gonna be able to get away with this at a more or less family convention but We'll, we'll see. It's it's a mermaid, obviously, but um, one that's kind of tastefully done. Minus those! Uh, forgive me. I'm sorry, I start this video with disco, dancing, gan cues, and now this. Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm such a weird person. Uh, not to be ashamed of it. But yeah, uh, this is pretty much near completion. I think I'm just going to add some grayscaling to it and maybe sell it. Uh, maybe I'll put it in the back of the uh, um, con inks to sell. Uh, this piece has been kinda on a, kinda on and off for a while. It's Atomic Skull. You've seen the sketches but not the nearly completed inks. I might have them ready by the convention. Uh, I really like how this piece goes. How this piece turned out so far. It's not completed of course but at the same time it's a DC villain who isn't one of the Batman rogues gallery so it's obscure again and who knows how well that's going to sell. Um, here's somebody between obscure and famous. This is Red King, one of the more popular monsters from the Ultraman franchise. Uh, I really like how the way the sketch on this one goes even if it's touching the top of the uh, board a little too close. And um, if I'm lucky, I might get this guy done and sell alongside Ultraman. But this would definitely make a great kaiju portrait in the future. So, all right. So, is that... Sorry about that. Um, I think that's pretty much it at the moment. Um, those are the pieces I'm working for Power Morphicon. Uh, hopefully... Hopefully, um, I can get everything done before Friday. I do have some leeway. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is that Mark and Cam are going to let me stay at this place for next weekend. And they're probably going to do it as early as Friday or Thursday night. So I really do have to get my uh, quote-unquote shit. I am so sorry. I really don't like cursing. I really do believe it's just it, um, low-minded... Um, uh, fan service that really should not be. Um, I need to get my crap together. My crap together. So there you go. So with that says more of this. <laughs>